Welcome to another Tableau tutorial video. Today I'm going to do a walkthrough of connecting to Google Analytics, assuming you have a Google Analytics account or you have access to one or have connected to one. So we're going to connect to data and you're going to see Google Analytics here or you're going to see it here and it doesn't matter which one that you choose. Pulls up a little, uh, if you've got multiple accounts, which one are you using? Click that one. And it's just saying, hey, can we use, can Tableau access it? You say, okay. And then it gives you a message that says you can go ahead and close that. So then we will come. And here we've got our account. And so we're going to go down to select this account and associated properties and views. And if you've worked in Google Analytics, you'll know what those are. I'm not going to spend time doing that, talking about that. This is for my Patreon account. Uh, you can also obviously subscribe. I want you to subscribe and uh, this year today. And you can also go out to my Patreon account and support me that way as well. So then you can choose up to seven dimensions and 10 measures. And they have some custom items up here already. So I like to use a uh, page usage. And I want to show you what's going to happen here. I'm going to pull in the age. And it's going to be an extract. It has to use an extract. And then come to sheet one. It's going to give me an error message. And we're going to say edit the data source. Now if we get rid of the age and then go, it works. I, I ran into the same problem when you're doing gender. Same error message, and so it gives you an error up here saying, "Hey, there's a problem with the you can't access it." And I'm not sure if that's just because there's no data, or I don't know why that is the way it is. But if you come down here for further page, you can grab the pages. And now you've got your data analyzed or connected, assuming these are the, the measures and dimensions you want. And then you just treat it just like anything else. We'll put new users on the rows. Change this to day. That many new users. And we'll add sessions. And you can just treat this like you would any other. There you go. This may be helpful. Google Analytics does a good job if you're looking for just the data. If you wanted to pull it in with other marketing data you might have, you might need to do some data blending. But that's how you connect to Google Analytics. And you'll notice that it does look a little bit different here, this format. The thing is, you, you have to know which dimensions and measures you want to pull over at the beginning. Thanks for subscribing. Uh, check out my Patreon account. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.